That's scary, guys. If it was, oh my God, uh, excavator in a river, huh? It's just a little pebble in the middle of the road. It's like the rock is taking a piece. Well, right, guys, apart from a hippo, I don't know who would be happy in here. Here's a little goat. Oh, let's kidnap it. Oh, yeah, you lost. Back, 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 back. Like even the bus is like, I don't know what to do. Come on, brother, you can do it. Okay, yeah, that's a beautiful ride. Eh? I, li I like the I like the rims as well. I put my dirty pants on it. <laughs> okay, Mr. Avinas, how are you, brother? Yes, yes. a little bit cold. Yeah, a little bit cold, a okay. little bit wet. Yeah. As you can see, guys, it's a nice and sunny day <laughs> in uh, Jamsan today. But uh, the rain hasn't stopped for the past like what four, five, six days now. Yeah, yeah. Crazy, yeah. Eh? But yeah, I've got to go. I've got to go to Pokhara. My visa is running out, so. It was very good staying with you, brother. I really had a good time. So thanks for everything you've done from the, uh, to okay. me. It's no problem. You've done for me. And uh, yeah, all the best to you, brother. Uh, Hope to see you next time. Yes. Soon. 100% bro. Thanks a lot for everything, okay. man. So for us, let's ride, guys. Uh, there's a lot of uh, landslides on the way. There's a river to cross in Marfa that is very uh, powerful. And then there is like dozens of landslides on the way to Pokhara. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go. See you, boss. Okay, guys, leaving uh, jump some now after a few days. I wanted to wait until uh, uh, it clears up completely, but yeah, I can't, guys. I have to be uh, back to India in a few days. I have my interview tomorrow in Kathmandu, which I obviously uh, will be missing. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be interesting, guys, today. I think it's gonna be uh, a lot of mud, a lot of water, a lot of river crossing. Exactly what we love as adventure riders, right? <laughs> a beautiful view, guys, on the uh, apple orchard. And we are soon going to reach uh, Marfa. It's only a couple of kilometers away. This beautiful village of Marfa. But for now, I better focus on the road because it's very slippery. <laughs> you see, they are smaller. Actually, the road is, is not too bad so far. I mean, landslide-wise, there's a lot of rocks, as you can see, but uh, I keep on looking to my right, and I, for now, the rain has stopped, so it's good. Yeah, you see, guys, from here, we can clearly see that uh, the road is uh, very fragile, to say the least, and on both sides, you know, on, on the hillside and on, and on riverside, uh, you feel like it could really collapse, oh, like it did here. You know, it, it's crazy, I don't, I don't really... Uh, Oh wow, that's beautiful, eh? Thank you, boss. I don't like to speak ill about the government or something, but locals, like I'm talking locals, God, I'm not making that up, were telling me that uh, uh, contractors are pretty much corrupted, you know? Even uh, starting from the uh, the tenders on uh, which company is, gonna to, uh, is going to, uh, to build or repair the roads, it's really... Uh, Listening to uh, locals, it's the system is completely corrupted. Politicians also have uh, building companies, from my, uh, from what I understood. Again, guys, I don't. I'm just repeating what I heard from locals. I don't think I'm making that up. I would never do such things, especially when it comes to corruption and and uh, stuff like that. But uh, it kind of makes sense, honestly, when you look at the shape of the road that uh, contractors are getting a certain amount of money, but they only spend part of it. Yeah, just to cut corners and. Uh, have more profit and 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 then the road uh, the roads have to be uh, reconstructed uh, every so often uh, that's how it is i think we are having the first uh, hurdle ahead of us because i see some bikes are stopped hey bro how are you bro is it okay you crossed you fell you fell did you fall so what's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong with your bike now? Uh, it's good, yeah. Recently, crossed yeah. the river. Okay. Uh, on the right hand, the right hand. Step. On the right, eh? The right, yeah, right, right. How deep is it? Uh, yeah. How deep? How deep? How deep? Knee, knee, knee. Okay, okay, okay. Take care. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Hey, it, it looks quite strong, eh? Hey, bro. It's strong, yeah? 
it's strong. You take the uh, upside, okay? On the right, eh? Yeah, on the right. There's the you know it's a heavy current in the Yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, it's got boots! Yeah. yeah bro, good idea. You can cross the river. Yeah? No no I can't do it but uh I need maybe someone to help if it's so possible. Help yeah? Thank you brother. Take the right side of it. Yeah yeah yeah. Wow, guys, it's quite strong, eh? Wow, yeah, check that out. We can go now, yeah. I'm going to put the foot here. Yeah, you were going? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, guys. Yeah. Can anyone, can anyone help in yes. in case I fall, yeah? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay, well, first hurdle crossed, unfortunately. My left boot is completely soaked. <laughs> well, that was to expect. But that was actually much easier than I thought. Because when I was still uh, back in uh, Jamsam, someone showed me a video of someone crossing that same river this morning. And there was like five people around the bike to help him go through. And the current looked actually much stronger than what I just uh, experienced. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to complain, guys. Apart from my uh, soaked left uh, foot, but f it, I wasn't expecting to go home tonight with dry feet anyway. Okay, let's get going, guys. Wow, guys, check that out. Wow, the road is gone. The road is gone. Oh, it looks like a bridge collapsed too. Uh, maybe an old one, because it's not the main bridge, but still. You see, yeah, one of the bridge collapsed. There was two bridges there. I actually remember crossing this area. That's scary, guys. If it was... Oh! My God! The uh, excavator in a river! Jeez! Oh, no! Oh, no! The excavator is in a river! It probably got carried away. I don't know if that happened during some work or... Oh, wow! It's a nice little road. Even uh, even when the, it's cloudy, it's still very nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna follow them two riders in front of me. Then, you know, if we have to face adversity, we will face it together. You know, the more the merrier, right? And actually, in this instance, it's more like a, the more the, the safer. Yeah, it's very nice. Wow. Huh? It's just a little pebble in the middle of the road. Just like that. Imagine you take that on your face once you're driving. This is so nice. What's up, bro? How are you? Oh, fantastic. And you? Yeah. Yes. Good. Yeah, all good. Where are you going now? We're going to Pokhara. Pokhara, eh? Today? Yeah. Today? That's it. You think? We can go today. Hopefully, brother. Hopefully. No, no, yeah, I was, I was there. I'm going to a Pokhara as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I've seen Pokhara right there. Right safe, eh? Yeah. Right safe. <laughs> Take care, bro. <laughs> so funny, guys. The first one uh, beeped me and, uh, and it was like, right with Frenchie? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, Frenchie or Pierre. Wow, this is beautiful. Yeah, it's truly beautiful to look at, guys, honestly. It's a very nice little village. <laughs> Namaste! Yeah, it's a cool little village. What is that place? I don't even remember that place. Namaste, bye! W what is the village name? Tukuche. Tukuche. Oh, okay. Thank you, bro. Have a nice day. Yeah, it's a cute little village as well here, but I don't remember don't even remember crossing it. Oh yeah, that's cool. Namaste sir. What do we have here? Is it corn? Looks like corn. Yeah. Cool place. With the with the mandir there, looks like it. Hello, how are you? Is the road the road is clear? 
Yeah, there, there is only stone, stone in wood. You have to carry your bag, bike. Carry the bike? Yes. Yeah. How many people are you? One. You will find food there. Carry the bike? Yes. Woo! Okay. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Don't go alone. Don't go alone. Don't leave the group. They are with me. Thank you, bro. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, so you hear them, guys. There is a, a place where apparently we need to. Uh, to carry the bikes, carry the bikes. It's uh, very interesting. I wonder why I would have to carry them. There must be a huge amount of uh, stone. Let's see. Interesting. Uh, it's good that there is uh, there are other riders behind me because there is no chance I can carry 200 something kgs on my own. That's really nice. No, it's not that. Well. Wow, you see how dangerous? It, because those ones probably fell from high as well. Wow, you don't want to be under that. What are they doing? I wonder. Wow, look at the size of this! Look at the size of these! Wow, this is scary! Oh my god! Man, some of those stones are like, you know, four times my weight. That's a beautiful road. I, I better enjoy it because this is gonna go from good to super bad real quick. Namaste. Okay, guys, let's uh, enjoy the last uh, few hundred meters of asphalt. Yeah, it's very peaceful. Very, very peaceful. So, yeah, the, you heard the policeman. Actually, I don't even know if I was filming. I just stopped because there was a, a police check post where they ask your uh, vehicle number and all. And he said to me, in eight kilometers, there is something. I couldn't understand exactly why. What? But uh, there is something happening in 8 kilometers, guys. I think in 8 kilometers is actually a waterfall, Rupse, <laughs> where I got stuck in the mud on the way up. So, second part. Let's do it again. Wow, destruction happened here. Man, you don't want to be here when those stones are falling on the road. You don't want to be nowhere near that. This is scary. You know, it's funny because in France, like, we don't have those stuff, you know, we're so lucky. I mean, we probably in the mountains, I don't know, but where I come from, it's like sea level. There is, like, never heard of landslide in my area. And uh, it's, you just hear about landslide on, on TV, pretty much. Um, but now that it's, I'm experiencing it live, you know, it's a different, uh, it's a different thing. It's better to uh, hear about those things on TV, guys, I tell you that. In the video I shot, remember, the landslide video, the last video? I was... Uh, you can hear it in my voice that I'm really not uh, uh, confident. In simple words, I was shitting myself. Even <laughs> You see, when you look at that road that just pretty much rests on uh, a pile of rocks, it doesn't look too solid to me. Oh, man. Ooh. Hello guys. Hello, how are you? Good? Is it is it clear? Yeah, it's open. Okay. So you're not going? Mike is going. Okay. But for you no? 
we have to wait two hours. Two hours. Uh, for me, I can go. Ah, you can go fast. Fantastic. Thank you, guys. Have a good day. You too, brother. Bye bye. You heard them, guys. Happy days. You have a bike, you can go. Whoa, don't tell me twice, brother. Guys, if we make it to Pokhara tonight, oh, smells like beer. Be like an achievement. Oh, why are bikes stuck here? Indian's bike as well. Himalayans. Wow, guys, look at that. How beautiful, eh? That's so beautiful, eh? It looks fake almost. Yeah. That's is that Rupse? Oh, it's not Rupse waterfall. No, no. Rupse is further it's down. Eh? This, yeah. yeah, bigger, it's yeah, bigger. Bad, you know? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I came here. <laughs> What's your name, bro? My name is Sherab. 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 Yeah. Ah, this, is, this is our you know, second time, I guess. Yes, yes, we met uh, in a Muktinat. Yeah, I remember you, but you didn't have a lady with you. Yeah. Where was the lady? Yeah. How are you? Okay, you good, bro? Yeah. This guy has big balls, eh? Yeah. On a scooter? Yeah. F yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Look at that port. Oh, wow. Didn't see that stone. Look at that tall truck. Wow, it got completely buried. Oh, hang on. No, that's an accident. What happened? Well, I think it's related to the road now and the stones. Okay, the real fun is starting now, guys. It's uh, halfway through between uh, uh, riding and rafting. You know, you <laughs> you're not sure what you're doing anymore. There's so much water. It's like, uh, yeah, riding a river. Yeah, look at that, guys. Yeah, you don't want to be here when that happens. I know I keep on repeating myself, but uh, since I experienced it myself a few days back, nope. Not anymore. Wow, this one is crazy. Jesus Christ, the size of those stones. Uh, yeah, we are definitely riding a river now, guys. I've got my, uh, I've got my foot on the on the brake. Obviously no, obviously no front brake at all. Because if you start using the front brake here, and the wheel locks. Well, it's over. There's no coming back up. How are you, bro? I'm fine. How do you do? Yeah, good, man. Uh, nice good. to meet you, man. Pleasure to meet you, brother. Where are you from? From France. France? Yeah. Hey, on, on, on motorcycle? Yes, bro. Touring? Yeah. How many countries have you done already? 16. 16 countries? Yeah. How many months have you done? You. Two years. Sorry? Two years. Two years? Yeah, because of COVID, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. Fine. I was so Thank you, brother. Yeah. Pleasure nice meeting you. you. Pleasure meeting you, bros. Take care guys. Okay, so uh, you heard the guys. The road is blocked. You can I can see actually a lot of Ducati bikes. Man. Yeah, Ducati, Ducati. yeah. Uh, desert. Ducati desert or? Scrambler. Scrambler. Okay. Yeah. Uh, thank you, bro. Yeah, I can see a lot of bikes there. So I can just park the bike here, I guess. And go and see what's going on. But yeah, it's blocked. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's scary, bro. So here we are, you see heaps of riders. Buses, cars, all stuck. The army is working. Wow, those are badass stones. Morning time, they carried bike more than 11. They carried bike, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Japanese group. They yeah. have already left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I met some people, they told me we carried our yeah. bike and. But how the f can you but carry your bike? So heavy, so we what bike? There's not a chance pass. I carry my bike across that. <laughs> no way. I prefer to wait. So many riders on the other side as well, eh? Where is uh, Rajan? Yes, brother! <laughs> yeah, I try, yeah, I tried to text you, but there's no signal there's no, here. No signal here. I think it's going to take some time, bro. Yeah. I think it's going to take at, at least one, two the hours. Weather is bad, I think. Yeah, I know. <laughs> wow, that is scary as well. Adventure riding, guys. So the road is cleared after yeah, two hours. Took advantage to uh, go on lunch with a couple of uh, local riders. That was great. But the amount of mud, guys, is uh, next level. I really have to follow the, the car's uh, tire print. Otherwise, I'm just 
getting stuck in the mud, literally. <laughs> it's like the rock is taking a piece, a big one. It probably had one too many beers. Wow! Oh, it's insane. I prefer, I prefer water than, than rocks, eh? Let's be honest. I'm running low in fuel as well, guys. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. Well, guys, apart from a hippo, I don't know who would be happy in here. Wow! Oh, look at that view. Yes, Nepali riders. Oh, look at that view, lads. Wow! Fantastic. I'm almost puffing my lungs out. It's a bit physical, the last, uh, the last patch. I think the waterfall is going to come soon. Yeah, it looks quite straightforward. But there's still big rocks. I just don't want to. Yeah, all good. I just didn't want to stop. You know, you hit rocks, you hit the bottom of the bike, but it doesn't matter, don't stop. Otherwise, problem. Wow, oh, this is huge. Where is all that water coming from anyway? It looks like there's a massive reserve of water in that hill. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's becoming funny again. Look at that. Lots of people stuck. It must be a tricky patch again. So, look at that gigantic waterfall. It's pretty impressive, eh? To see the, the bike right in the midst of it. I don't know what this, this jeep doing. It should go. This is beautiful and scary at the same time. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh fuck! <laughs> what a what a joke of a road! <laughs> you know, if you fall, you're gonna be on everyone's story today. There's a little goat. Oh, let's kidnap it. Let's kidnap it, guys. She's lost, obviously. Oh, I would love to take a goat with me. Oh. Yeah, you lost. Hey. You lost your mommy. Do you want a daddy instead? Come with me. Come with me. Imagine. I'll go back to India with a goat on the boat. I don't know if I need a passport for it. Man. Thank you, bro. Thank you, man. I appreciate your help. Lifesaver. Thank you, my brother. Okay. Take care. Thank you, bro. Oh, man, this village is so nice. See you, boss. Okay, guys, one glove. Hello, boss. One glove left, as you can see. The other one was just too, too wet. In one hour it's dark, meaning that I'm going to ride at least two to three hours uh, at night. But never mind, I honestly don't give a damn. As long as uh, I make it to Pokhara tonight, that will be a huge victory. Personal victory. Oh man, this is so cool here. You know, it's crazy. You see like the, how much the weather makes a, a big difference. Eh? When it's gloomy and rainy and when it's... Uh, Oh, you see that waterfall there too? Beauty! Between the trees as well, man, it's so nice. <laughs> when the road is actually a river. Oh, you turn your bike into a raft and you go for it. Okay, what do we have here? We've got some uh, rain coming out of the uh, of the cliff we have a river we have another river i'm riding on whoa 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 that's pretty cool whoa whoa, whoa. shower 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 free shower hello bro is the road okay okay thank you uh, and another little pool uh, 
this one I can dodge, I think. Yeah, don't go too close to the to the edge. Ah, it's crazy, guys. You see, it's literally raining from the straight from the cliff. Ah, that's pretty cool, eh? Okay, there's obviously something happening here, guys. What is happening? Hey, bro, what's going on? What's what's happening? No, this one, uh, one blue, uh, it's called view, for long. You know, this one. Uh, Problem. Yes, yeah. Okay. You understand. Okay, thank you, bro. English, eh? sorry. No problem, brother. Okay. I don't know Nepali. Sorry, sorry. Okay, let's go and check out what's going on here. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed. Oh, wow. Gas, 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 gas. Oh wow, that's deep! Back, 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 back! Why didn't they get the bags? Bro! What a mess, guys. Wow, that's messed up, guys. Like no f is given. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. He's taking his time. The one before just went straight in, like creating massive waves and shit. Wow, he's going on his own. Oh, it's tough, guys. I don't know what to do. It's a tough one. The tractor came to pick us up. See, two vehicles at the time. Oh, you've got nice flowers, brother. Yeah. It gives it a... Uh, this is for Fuja. Yeah. Chakram Fuja. Ah. All, all of us are waiting to uh, to go to the tractor to take us across the river. Because it's too deep for boys. Look, oh, I want to check that bus crossing. Oh. I remember actually this water crossing from uh, my first... Uh, the first time I crossed that, it was okay, borderline, but okay. But this time, yeah, with all the rain, the, the level has gone up and like even the bus is like, I don't know what to do. Come on, brother, you can do it. Yes. Submarine. So that's how it works. Two bikes on a tractor. It's making good money, yeah? When you think of it, 500 a, a bike with all the bikes waiting, it's a good deal. I might just buy a tractor and stay in Nepal. Why not? Are you ready? I am ready! Are you ready, bro? R6 ah, next to me. No, oh, sorry. R150. Ah, My bike. It's a good business to have a tractor in a Mustang today. Good morning people, what's going on? I made it back to Pokhara last night. What an adventure, guys. And just to prove it to you, let's check out the bike. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Look at that. Yep, that's pretty filthy, isn't it? <laughs> Even the front. <laughs> there are mud literally everywhere. It was a very, very rough uh, ride. I've got to wash everything this morning and then probably go to Kathmandu this afternoon because uh, my days are numbered now. I need to um, go to the Indian embassy to pick up my visa and then start to make my way towards India. But yeah, just to go back on, on last night, guys, because I left you, uh, I was about to hop in a tractor to cross the river. Well, obviously, I couldn't film after that because, as you saw, guys, the night fell. Um, but yeah, it was insane. It was just non-stop. I left... Uh, Yesterday I left Jamsom at 10 in the morning, roughly, and I made it here in Pokhara at 12.30 a.m. So you can imagine the kind of day that it was. A lot of adventures, a lot of landslides, and fucking rocks falling. And it was a bit of a crazy day, to be honest. I've got a lot to say about uh, the road's condition and the safety and all, but the locals were... This is more about the government, but the locals, the Nepali people are amazing. The way they help each other, 
when someone is stuck. There's a big solidarity going on and I absolutely loved it, guys. Um, anyway, uh, I clean up all my mess and I'll see you on the way to Kathmandu, guys. See you soon.